What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norman. As you can see, I got two cameras up right now. Today's video is going to focus on the question that I received. How do you go about trying to record separate tracks? For instance, if I'm using a keyboard and a vocals and I'm trying to record a video of them performing, but I don't want the audio from my camera. I want the audio from the computer and I want separate tracks. Of course, you can do this within Cakewalk. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my setup, but first, let's go to the performance. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn on some reverb inside of Cakewalk. Yeah. And I'm gonna record something. It might be some funny lyrics. And um, I'm not gonna turn on no tempo. Let me turn the tempo off, or the metronome off, rather. I just got a chicken wing in on my plate It's biscuits and collard greens But I don't know what to say Cause you didn't give me no cello Or no sweet Pop-Tarts. All right, some real silly. All right, we can play that back. I just got a chicken wing on my plate. Failed to mention that there's a plugin. I, one of those plugins that I actually downloaded a while back and I didn't really know that I had it on here, but I decided to pull it up. It's called um, Voloco. All right, so I have my track record. Of course, you can see the keyboards are coming in direct um, using just a quarter inch cable coming from out of my keyboard, going straight into my mixer, which is over here. So if you have a mixer, that's great. But if you don't have a mixer, you definitely can do this with an interface. But you do need something that you can put more than two inputs in, or at least two inputs. I don't have anything labeled. I did add the track image to a track icon. So I have track one, which is keyboard, and track two, which is a vocals. Um, I have a third track, which is just an effects scene, but well, not effects scene, but it's just effects that I'm receiving uh, just so it can wet my voice up a little bit. It sounds much better in my ears while I'm recording. It did not sound like that when you play it back. I know that this track is low. So the first thing I would go about doing is even before you get ready to mix it with a video, make sure that you have it sound in the way you want it to sound. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on mixing, but I'm gonna do a few different things. Um, one, I'm gonna go raise this audio up, go up to process, go to apply effect, go to gain, and I'm going to do a six decibel boost on this vocal track. So now that I can hear it a little better. I just got a chicken wing in on my plate. It's biscuits and collard greens, but I don't know what to say. Cause you didn't give me no cello <laughs> or no sweet Pop Tarts. All right, cool. So that's that. Now that I'm done with the keyboard, I can move the keyboard out the way. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug that be right back all right now that i put everything away i can really focus real quick on trying to get this vocal to sound a little better this one i am still going to boost it up a little bit more i'm going to boost the gain up and then i'm just going to do some real quick i'm going to add some q just going to do high pass filter all right i'm not going to really adjust it i'm just going to get it just like that it's cool Let's put a compressor on it. And all I'm basically doing, I'm just trying to hurry up and clean up. Um, I'm use a, let's use the 1176. Let's add a little delay. I am not trying to really mix this. Just trying to put on something to give it um, a little bit of body. I just I got a chicken wing in on, on my, my plate. plate. It's biscuits and collard greens. That delay. But I don't, I don't want that much mix. Know what to say. So 
So what I'm going to do is, now I normally wouldn't suggest do this, but I'm going to do a high shelf um, on the high frequency range. And that's just going to add a little bit more brightness to it. Now, normally I would like to use separate EQs for doing this, but this is not a mixing tutorial. This is all about trying to get to the main point, but I at least have to show you this. So if you're not interested in the mixing part, you could definitely skip to the last section, which focuses on actually editing in Cakewalk. All right, with the video. All right, so let's do this. Let's play it now. I just got a chicken wing in on my plate. So let's say that I'm cool with that. All right, I like the way the audio is. I'm going to go ahead and bounce it down real quick. And this is what you want to do if you're recording directly into Cakewalk. You want to make sure you bounce the audio down separate. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back into Cakewalk but it'll just be one file versus just having, you know, three tracks or two tracks. All right. So when we get to add the video, now Cakewalk has video editor on here, but I think I've used it maybe once or twice. And so it's not the best out of everything. I mean, there's probably better softwares that you can do it in. Of course, you can also do it in PowerDirector or you could do it in, you know, Adobe Premiere or any other editing software that you can get. You can download free softwares. You can do it on your phone, whichever, whichever way is easier for you. Now, uh, I am also using OBS. Of course, most streamers use OBS and most people that record videos use OBS. So this makes it a little easier for me um, because there's a lot of things I could do with OBS. But right now, only thing that's going into OBS is I'm just, and actually I can bring it over so you can see it. All I'm doing is I just got my mic aux 2, which is receiving this signal from my mixer, uh, channels 1 and 2 coming out, basically. And that's the only thing I'm running audio on. Um, now, how you really want to match this up with your camera, slide this back over, because you want to make sure that you're recording direct audio, but you also are recording audio from your phone or from your camera. That way you can link or match the audio together later on. Um, it's going to be a little different for me because for some reason my audio was not working on my phone. I had it working earlier, but anyway, that's another story. So, but you'll still be able to do it. It just might take a little bit more time to try to line up the words. You got to think lip sync with the audio that you hear. All right. Let's say I'm fine with this track. I'm going to double click them. All right. And I'm going to go to export audio. And let's save this as food song and then select folder export. OK, so the next step is I actually have to go about editing and trimming down the video that I just recorded with OBS. And in this case, it might be the video you just recorded with your phone or your camera. All right. So I'm going to stop right there and then I'm going to bring my clip end all the way over to where that point is. I'm going to save this on my music drive as well. Again, press save. And then I'm going to wait for that to do its thing. So thus far, hopefully you've been listening to the video. And if you're still here with me, you know, go ahead and give this video a like, thumbs up. Uh, definitely feel free to share it around. All right. Now it is almost finished. Once it's finished, I'm going to bring it back into Cakewalk and I'm going to show you how to go about actually mixing it. I'm going to close out of this. I will save it. OK, so now once you're back in Cakewalk, I'm going to go to Empty Project. All right, and I'm going to, and hopefully this video is in the format that Cakewalk will accept. That's what I didn't think about, because you might have to convert it. Sometimes uh, different formats won't work in Cakewalk. Go to import, and let's do video, and let's hope that it finds it. There it is right there. Now, I'm on the other side. Yay! All right, so I've got my video up, and it's got audio on there. Now, if I want to, I can just... And like I said, I can keep the audio straight like that, but I don't want the audio track. So um, I'm going to just mute that track. Now I'm going to add a new track, insert audio track, and then I'm going to go up to file again, import audio, and let's find the actual music food song. There it is. All right. Now I can look at these and kind of pretty much tell exactly where the audio lines up. So that's one thing that you can do. In on my plate. Okay, so now that you have it, the audio pretty much where you want it, 
then you can go ahead and play it and see if that's going to work for you. Of course, you can make slight adjustments by using the nudge features on Cakewalk. Once you have everything lined up the way you want it, then you can go about playing it and seeing if that works. Um, you might need to nudge it here and there to fix it, but let's go ahead and listen to it and see if that works. I have the original track muted, and this is the new track at the bottom. I just got a chicken wing in on my plate. It's biscuits and collard greens, but I don't sound like my kind of plate. No, what to say? Cause you didn't give me no cello or no sweet pop tarts. All right, and then I can stop that. And once I have that, and it sounds good to me, it looks good, sounds good, then I can go about, I can edit the audio if I want to. Of course, you know, you can click on this clip and you can drag it, or you can do a split. Now, if you want to split the actual video clips, uh, first of all, you may or may not see it looking like that. If you see video thumbnails are currently hidden, there is a button right here that says show hide the video thumbnails. Click on that and then you'll be able to see it. And then what you want to do is go to the tail end and then you can drag it backwards till you get it lined up. Once you have that, you can go ahead and export. Let's go export video. All right, once you're up here, you can change it to whatever format you want. You want to do it on YouTube Publisher, you can do that. Um, you can do Windows Media or you can do MPEG 4. You can change the mix down option. Let's just save it and let's see if that works the way we want it to work. And this is it right here, food. I just got a chicken wing in on my plate. It's biscuits and collard greens, but I don't know what to say. Cause you didn't give me no cello or no sweet pop tarts. All right, if this has been helpful to you, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. All right, I love you all. Take care.